Hello, this is Tom. Today, let's take a look at uh, this Pilot uh, 78G fountain pen. Let's first compare uh, its size with the sizes of uh, these two pens. This is a uh, Platinum uh, 3776 century fountain pen. This is Lamy 2000. So we can see uh, the lens of these pens are similar. Uh, but this pen is a little thinner than these two pens. Actually, uh, this is a, a cheap pen, so the plastic, it's, it's made of plastic, and the plastic is very light. So this pen is lighter, uh, significantly lighter than these two pens. Okay, let's take a closer look at this pen. So uh, it's made of uh, plastic. So it's uh, uh, these pens are, are all made of plastics, but uh, they uh, they use better plastics uh, for these two pens. Uh, this plastic, I think, is still a good one. Uh, I uh, I don't have any problem about this uh, pen body, uh, but it's very light. It's very light. Actually, this is also a kind of advantage. If we want to use this pen to write uh, uh, a lot, then uh, lighter would be better. So, uh, this is the cap. So, uh, it's uh, actually a beautiful one, a beautiful one. And uh, this is the nib. So, the nib says, Pilot soup quality japan ef so uh, this ef is actually is uh, uh, really fine this extra fine is the actually the most fine uh, nib i have ever have uh, this ef is really ef extra extra fine so it's made of steel this uh, uh, nib and let's take off uh, this barrel. So we can see uh, this is the uh, converter. So the uh, the pen comes with a converter. So that's very good. For, for this pen, I think we need to buy converter uh, separately. And uh, but uh, this pen, this pen comes with a converter. I I think so. Okay. So this pen, although this converter is uh, not a high-end one, so this is the basic converter, but it, it works. Uh, this pen actually is a, is very well made. It's uh, I heard I heard it was only for uh, the Chinese market. I think it's not not even uh, sold in Japan. So they just sold this pen in China, and uh, originally the price is uh, quite low for this pen. Uh, perhaps uh, maybe le uh, at least less than ten dollars U.S. dollars. Um, but later, because the quality of this pen is very good uh, with respect to its price. So this pen, be this pen becomes very popular, and uh, it's sold out quickly. So the price goes up, goes up. And today, I don't know, maybe it was fifteen dollars at least, uh, even in China. So uh, this is a very well-made pen, actually. Uh, next, uh, let's take a have some writing samples. So, this pen is made by, okay, Pilot. So we can see it's very fine. The line is very thin, 78G. This is a fountain pen. The nib is extra fine. Uh, the nib, uh, because it's extra fine, so it's not smooth anymore. But uh, 
it's also not a scratchy, just just a, um, just not smooth. So maybe smoothness also has something to do with ink. So this ink that I used uh, is Noodles Base State Blue. Actually, based the blue plus water. I added some water. Uh, I found that if I added some water to this uh, base state blue ink, uh, it will feather less. Otherwise, it will feather. Okay. Uh, it's a nice, nice pen in terms of its price. If if it's only fifteen US dollars. It's uh, uh, a good one. If it's ten dollars, it's definitely uh, worth it. Okay, but today I think uh, we can also buy Safari, Lamy Safari, in t uh, about fifteen dollars or about l less than twenty dollars. So just um, these entry level pens are all very well made. Mm -hmm. These. Uh, Palette 78G and uh, Lamy's Safari, uh -huh. they are very well made in terms of uh, price, I think, if they are less than $20, uh, $15, like that. But I think this pen is usually a little cheaper uh, than Lamy's Safari. Safari. Uh, but uh, it, in terms of writing, I th maybe Lamy's Safari has a better material, for, for, for pen body, I, I'm not sure, but, but um, certainly this pen is lighter than Lamy Safari. I just uh, I didn't uh, really uh, weight the pens, but uh, I just from my personal feeling, I guess uh, this pen is lighter than uh, Safari. Uh, yeah, yeah, they 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 are compete com, com, compete compete with each other. I think at a light a entry level. Next, uh, let's uh, find write uh, a little more. All's well that ends well. As long as the outcome is good, problems on the way don't matter. All's well that ends well. Okay, so this basically means uh, the results are more important. We need to pay attention to the results. Uh, yes, this is uh, one kind of uh, uh, opinion. Uh, let's try to apply uh, this kind of opinion uh, to, to pens, to, to fountain pens. Uh, if a fountain pen can write well, then it's a good fountain pen, basically. We need to uh, check the results of the writing. So, in terms of uh, writing, I think uh, this, this pen it's not a, not a very different uh, with these more expensive pens. They they can they they all write writes well. They all write well. So they are all good pens. But this pen is much cheaper. So if you uh, just want to try a a, a relatively uh, cheap fountain pen. I think you can just try this Pilot 78G. This is a good choice. Uh, you can also try Lamy Safari. That's also a good choice. But um, Lamy Safari, Lamy Safari, Lamy's uh, Aluminum, 
and like those pins. One one issue might be the section because the section of Lamy Safari is triangular, and uh, if you are not used to that kind of section, uh, maybe it's better to choose this run run the section. So the, the, this kind of section is for all kind of people, but uh, for Lamy Safari. Uh, the way of holding the pen is important. Okay, so so this is a very good entry level fountain pen. If you just want to have a try uh, uh, entry level fountain pen, this is a good choice. Okay, this is uh, uh, the review of uh, this Pilot seventy eight uh, G fountain pen. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye bye.